Hi, today we're going to work on tutorial 1, case problem 4. Step 1, we have to change the workbook name to Green Lawns, which I already did. Then we need to change the sheet name to documentation. I already did that too, but I'm going to show you how to do it. You can either right click and use the rename function, or you can double click and then type in the name. We also have to type in the company name, which is Green Lawns, the author, the date, and the purpose for this, which is to record weekly service calls. We're going to move on to the second sheet. And as you can see, I've already typed in all the data to make this quicker and easier. First, I'm going to show you how to add a second row within the same cell. So for that, I am going to choose a random address, so let's say 200 Main Street. And to add in a second row, we hold down the Alt key and press Enter. And here we have it. Now I'm going to delete this because we don't need it. And we're going to move on to the functions. Green Lawns charges each customer a base fee plus a working fee that is equal to the hourly rate multiplied by the numbers of hours worked. So we're going to choose a cell in which we want to, to paste to add the formula. So we're going to go on the first customer, we type in the enter key and then we take the base fee and then we're going to add the hours multiplied by the hourly fee and enter. There is another way in which we can do this and I'm going to do this for the second customer. Up here we can type the formula again starting with equal that's how every formula starts and then we type in the cell numbers. So we start with F6 plus E6 multiplied by G6. Enter. Now we still have to find the service charges for the rest of the three customers. And to make this easier, we can choose one of these two that we've already done, click it, we can copy it and paste it in the remaining of the three cells. And here we have all five customers. Now, to make sure that all the formulas are correct, I'm going to go into formula view. And we can see that everything is good. In many cases, if when you have more complicated formulas, it's better to put in parentheses. But in this case, we don't have to. Now to get a total for all five customers, I am just going to select all five cells and I'm going to use the auto sum button and I got my final answer of 409.75. And this concludes tutorial one, case problem number four.